welcome to Melvet's Table. Today, I will show you this very special recipe. Alright guys, this is so delicious. This is what we call the Igado. Alright, here are the ingredients. Alright guys, first, we will be needing 1 kilogram of pork. I slice it into strips. And then, we need 1 cup of pineapple juice okay pour in into the meat and we need also half cup of soy sauce okay we will put in to marinate our meat and also two teaspoon of ground black pepper all right guys so we will mix this all together to marinate our meat for at least about two hours okay and we will put this in the fridge for a while while waiting and next we will mix that thoroughly okay before putting into the fridge next i have here half kilogram of pork liver okay you can also use a uh, pork heart or kidney but i just prefer to use the meat and the liver okay for our liver, I have two tablespoons of white vinegar pour into the liver and one tablespoon of brown sugar. I have also two tablespoons of soy sauce and one teaspoon of ground black pepper. We will mix this up together guys to marinate and we will put this in the fridge for about two hours all right we will also use five cloves of minced garlic one medium size of onion one fourth cup of green peas one medium size of carrots i slice them like strips guys and also one medium size of red bell pepper and one piece of hot chili pepper two medium size of potato strips also and three tablespoon of liver spread and one cup of garbanzo beans and also we will be needing two cups of chicken stock of course guys we will need three leaves of laurel and two teaspoon of anato powder Another powder, guys, is optional. If you don't have it available, that's okay. You don't need to put it, okay? All right. All right, guys. After heating up my pan, I put in a little bit of oil. And I want to fry first my potatoes. Okay. All right, guys, when your potato is a little bit brown, you may now set this aside. Next, I will put a little bit of oil again into my pot. And put a little bit also of garlic. And also the onion. And then, we will stir fry quickly our liver. Don't put the marinade, okay? Just the liver. Alright guys, after about 2 minutes, ayun, nag-firm yung konti yung ating liver. So, we will set this aside again. And then, we will need to put some oil again into our pan. In the rest of the garlic. And the onion. Just wait a little bit until these spices are translucent. And you can smell the aroma of the onion and the garlic together. 
Okay guys, I drained the marinade of the pork and we will add in into our pan to fry it. Alright guys, just simmer your pork open without the lid, okay, until uh, oils come out like this, alright? Uh, just wait for a little bit more to brown my meat before I put back in the liver and the other ingredients, okay? Okay guys, um, my meat is already crunchy, look at this. I want my meat to be crunchy, that's why it took me about 15 minutes to uh, fry my meat, okay? And I will now add the liver spread on the side to mix in up together. Para ma fry din siya, guys. Okay, we may now add the liver. Since our meat is already cooked, alright, so I can put in the marinade stock. And the um, chicken broth or chicken stock. There you go. And then we will simmer this for about 50 minutes. Yes, guys, I forgot. We can now add the laurel leaves. And also the natto powder. Just to give a little bit of color. Okay, so let's simmer this for about 15 minutes in a low fire. Alright guys, after 15 minutes, add now the potato, the garbanzo beans, the carrots, the green peas and also the hot chili pepper I will put the bell pepper last because I want it to be crunchy still when we eat all right so just mix it up together And let's simmer this again, guys, for about 10 minutes or until the potato is cooked. All right. Okay, let's check if our potatoes is already cooked. Let's see. Oosh. Oh, yeah. It's soft already guys. It's not really soft, but I want it to be like that. Okay, so I will now add my bell peppers Mix it up together guys uh, The taste if I still need to put some salt or whatever Wow, it's perfect guys. You don't need to put some salt or um, fish sauce that's good enough. There you go, guys. Luto ng ating igado. Alright. 
Here it is guys, once again, one of the most authentic and most delicious recipe from the Philippines. This is what we call in Ilocano, Igado. Alright, thank you so much to all my subscribers and if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll always be updated every time I will post a video in my channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for your support to Melvet's Table. See you next time once again.